Yeah. At all, everything's gonna run through our command. I want to work. Uh, we'll go through, uh, and I won't get hung up on any user uh, restrictions. So we're gonna go ahead and run an IP config real quick, just to show you that I currently have an IP version 4 address, um, which is 192.168.1.110. Uh, you can see that right here. And then we're gonna go ahead and release it back out onto the network. And really, we're just gonna um, we're gonna tell the the network and my local area connection that I no longer want that IP address to be specified with my computer. Um, so after we release it. You'll see that we no longer have a um, an IP version four address. Uh, it's up here when and then when we run the IP config that release, uh, it's no longer within the um, within the IP config and the system uh, the system network information that comes up once you uh, release the IP config. So now we're gonna go ahead and we'll start our router. Um, and then we're going to come back in here and we're going to IP config and then we're going to renew. We're going to say, hey, wait, no, we made a mistake. We want another IP address first. Uh, it takes just a second. Uh, so you can see we got another IP address. We'll see that right back to 192.168.1.110. Uh, we're going to run it again. IP config dot renew. Oops, forward slash renew, sorry. Uh, once again, we're still at 1.110. Then we're going to go ahead and release. Uh, again, you can see I uh, can say I do this and this. And then just one last time, we're going to go ahead and renew. Let it run. And once again, we're about to run one by one time. So as you can see, our wireless you can kind of see it in the background of the video. Uh, but it's working pretty seriously over here. Um, and so now, if you'd like to refer to my blog, following this, uh, I will answer these things to the question.